Welcome to our web exclusive. I'm Mike Montecalvo along with Eyewitness News Analyst Lieutenant General Reginald Centracchio. Obviously we're taping this on a Wednesday, General. The primary was yesterday in Rhode Island. Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump were winners. But I started taking a look around the country and the different polls and what voters were looking at that was really important to them. This is not a surprise. Jobs in the economy, number one, which I thought was kind of surprising was terrorism was really down compared to six months ago. What's your take on that? Because there hasn't been a recent terrorist event, people look at it as, okay, it's not that important right now. But jobs in the economy is. that will always be up there, number one and number two. From time to time will change, and I'll make an analogy of when you look at uh, snowstorms in the wintertime. You ask somebody about what the top priority is today, whether we have enough salt and trucks on the road, tomorrow when the snow is gone, it'll be a different priority. So I think it's short-lived based upon the event that's happening. You kind of saw that when you were the EMA director Absolutely. here in Rhode Island, Absolutely, saw right? that every time, as well as the commander of the guard. When we were mobilizing troops, obviously terrorism and the response to that terrorist act was first and foremost because it touched Rhode Island troops. Next week, that wouldn't be the case because it wasn't as important. All right. Last week, we uh, talked about President Obama adding about 250 uh, troops to Iraq. We're finding out this week that same number now going to Syria to fight ISIS. Uh, he's looking for United Nations backing on this, too. 250 enough at this point? No, uh, certainly not. But it's a start. And I think uh, to make the statement that we are sending troops, regardless of the number, it would set some kind of a precedent for him to be able to go to those other countries and say, look, we're helping the best we can. You need to put in an equal number, if not more, to fight ISIS. So I think 250 is just a little start. But I do believe over the next several months we'll see more and more uh, because obviously that's the only way to do it is to have boots on the ground to fight the kind of war that needs to be won. You know, there are people that are going to say that, okay, so you're sending 250, you are trying to wipe, wipe out ISIS, which everybody wants to, but you're also helping out Assad at this point. He's supposed to be your enemy, right? Yeah, well, you are. You know, because six he's one against half, ISIS too. Exactly. But at the same time, it depends on who you're supporting. If the rebels against Assad are receiving any kind of help from the United States being there, that's a duality in our efforts. We're helping Assad's enemies, and yet we're trying to help them fight ISIS. It's a real complex scenario. Bottom line is, uh, I don't think anybody knows what's going to happen tomorrow because it changes from day to day. Okay, you know, obviously by talking about the primary, but North Korea, General, continues to make some noise. They're about to test their fifth nuclear missile and another weapon. Are we looking at more sanctions at this point? Absolutely. The United Nations said that uh, yesterday and today, in fact, uh, with the, the possible testing of the fifth nuclear explosion, that clearly uh, violates any kind of uh, uh, agreement we have with North Korea. More concerning to me is they also tested a missile, or about they did test a missile this past week from a submarine, giving them the capability now. And he also said, Kim Jong-un said, I want a missile to be developed that will have a nuclear warhead from a submarine. That's concerning to me, and I think it should be to all of us, that uh, it doesn't require a long-range missile anymore. And uh, finally, there is more talk about base closures. Obviously, when you hear base closures, Newport and folks there think that they're possibly a target. You're right. Everybody thinks so. But I think in this particular case, we've seen our cuts uh, as far as Newport's concerned. As far as Quonset's concerned, we are, in fact, uh, developing a uh, capability for all the world to come here to train on the C-130Js as a flight simulator. So I think we're pretty safe uh, as far as base closures are concerned at this juncture. All right. General Centrake, as always, thanks for your thoughts and thanks for watching.